Pixie. Who is it? <gasps> hello, Pixie. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. You're the mob already. <laughs> so today we're heading down to St Albans Football Club. In case you don't know, I was born in St Albans. I've lived here all my life. The purpose of today is really just to do a fun routine in their football shirt and kind of give them a little bit of exposure because obviously they're a small club and it's a nice thing to do. It's a nice thing to support my local football club. I'm just going to scoff my breakfast, which Ellis very kindly picked up on his way over here. It would be good to just film this routine different angles and then cut it together. A, because I think it would look good. And B, because I don't know how I'm gonna cope with jumping on grass. I actually don't know if I'll get be able to get the routine all in one anyway. So it just gives that flexibility and it's quite fast, that song. I've got you in Orthodox. I yeah. love that song. It was on um, Beaver Street. To be honest, I've always loved Example. Right, the rest of that is gonna take me over the edge. But... You don't need another lens, do you? Uh, to be honest, you know what? I never use this lens now. Now I've fallen in love with Sony. I put this on and it's just like, ugh, but like. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. <laughs> there are things falling, aren't there? Yeah, it's tr it, there's a tree above us, Lauren. It oh, might okay. be that. <laughs> <laughs> And also, I'll do a bit of a run in, can't I? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> so, we're at St Albans Football Club. This is the stadium in the middle of Clarence Park. Basically, I'm just practicing my routine and we're just figuring out what we're going to do, what shots we're going to do, how we're going to start, whether we can incorporate a ball, whether my skills aren't quite there <laughs> to be able to do that. <laughs> we need to figure that out. I've just tried jumping on grass. It's just too difficult for the speed of this routine. So we've got the mat, which it looks fine. It would have been nice to just jump straight on the grass, but it's not going to happen. What does it look like just on grass? If you want to show us. I can show you. It's like... <laughs> Straight away. <laughs> I, I feel like if I was going slow, oh no, not even then, I'd have to really adapt my form. People always say, like, isn't grass a great surface to skip on because it's soft? So people often say they put their mat on grass. The thing is, it's a bit like, it's obviously not as extreme as this, but it's a bit like jumping on sand. Like, your feet sink in and that actually makes it very difficult to push off the ground. The people often think they want to absorb impact, which, yes, you absorb impact when you jump on a soft surface with jump rope, but you've got to push off again. So if you're pushing off a soft surface all the time, it's actually going to cause potential wear and injuries in other ways so it's like you've got to find this sort of balance where you have a nice surface concrete isn't ideal long term for the impact reason but it is good to have something hard to push off and that's where this isn't as good could be a dumb it's question your shoes absorb a lot of impact right so what if you were to jump on grass without the shoes so that's purposely today I wore my flattest shoes. I actually find that it doesn't really matter so much what shoes I wear with jump rope because if I wear something that is like a running shoe, I find it's great for the absorption, so that's good. But then I'm just gonna find it hard to push off. When I wear these sort of shoes, obviously you don't get the um, soft impact, but it's really easy to push off in a pair of shoes like this. That's why I put these on. So yes, you're, you're, it's not actually the question, and oh, I go. decided to wear these shoes for that very reason. Maybe barefoot. Did you say barefoot? Oh, well, I didn't, but <laughs> <laughs> if you want to roll dog the grass, oh, then it's up to you. <laughs> you know what? I only just uploaded that video on the beach, barefoot. Oh, and, yeah. And it's the foot fetish people <laughs> on the planet. Like, Jesus. More feet videos, please. Can you do this every week? I know. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe jumping barefoot would be okay, but it's the, it's the toe whips that is the worst when you, when you jump without shoes. Don't ask me. Just, there you go. There you go. And then do I just kick it off? Would if you, you kick me to the side of your foot? Well, it was, oh. me it was meant to look more natural. You did that little horse for <laughs> me. You were like, it's meant to look more natural, <laughs> right? I thought I was going to do it my ankle. What? Here you go. I'm going to slide <laughs> and, uh, going all the way around, jumps in the back, you could with your other hand. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have it. Yeah, I'm gonna do a first take. Face on shot, sign in the background. Let's see. Imagine if I do get it all the way through. That'd, That'd be, be interesting. Uh, 
very professional, isn't it? All right, let's go. I just looked down and I thought, what the hell is that? Come here, Lauren. I don't need to be... Come on, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> what was he doing? Is that one that stinks? I mean, it was, it'll be fine because I can reshoot that ending. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have filmed that one angle, not getting very far with this. <laughs> one angle! <laughs> Basically we've got distracted because we realised we need to figure out the intro, like how I'm going to enter the pitch. And we decided we're going to try and do like a tunnel shot, me and with a ball, and then I get to the centre, kick off, and then run and do my skipping. So yeah, we're just going to see if that's going to work. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the, the tunnel shots and now we're on to the hardest part of the day, which is when I have to kick the ball. <laughs> Tell me what just happened right now. <laughs> Basically, this whole day, this routine is obviously difficult. In my back garden, it'd be fine. I'd just be on the patio on a harder surface and get it through. But it's been really hard for me to string the first part and the second two part. The first part is that transition from part one to part two. I had to break it up all day and then just now, Ellis is filming a story. And I was like, I'll just do the routine as far as I can. Literally just got it all the way through perfectly. So at least we got it. Yeah, that was impressive. I mean, we it. can show up the vlog right now. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> And then we'll come back here. I even got the ending uh, neat. I like know. The, cat, the, the uh, cross catch. <laughs> you know what the cross catch has been scruffy. That means like messy for my American followers who never understand the word scruffy. <laughs> it got there in the end. <laughs> Amazing. So yeah, this was a really fun thing to do actually. Like nice to get creative and create some different content and nice to support the local football club. Let me know if you want to see more content filmed here or with the club and let me know if you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you want to get started with jump rope then I'll link all of my ropes, my mats and my app in the description. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more content and I will see you in my next video. That's a wrap innit? I should have checked if this song was, if we could get this song on uh... On Licked? Yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe I bet you can't. <laughs> <laughs> <Maybe> <laughs> glass the, half full, glass half empty. <laughs>